Hello, my name is Maddie, and today me and Jay Lynn are going to be talking about Freedom Rides and Freedom Summer. So basically what Freedom Rides were was a protest against segregation. It started on May 4, 1961 and went to December 10, 1961. The people wanted to test Morgan v. Virginia that said segregation and interstate travel was unconstitutional. Seven African-American activists and six white activists rode on a bus together as a protest. They were on the border between north and south areas of the United States, but they had a fear of going deeper south, even though they wanted to go to New Orleans from D.C. Um, when the buses stopped, whites used African-American facilities and African-Americans used white. There was a lot of backlash. Tires were slashed and buses were firebombed. Freedom Riders were beaten. The violence really started on May 12 in South Carolina. John Lewis, Albert Bigelow, and an additional African-American rider were attacked while all trying to use the white restroom. Police escorts and protection were implemented around the buses after things got too dangerous and the bus drivers refused to continue the Freedom Rides. The escort abandoned the bus, and federal marshals were sent in to stop the violence. The original riders were stopped, but another branch starting in Nashville continued the Freedom Rides. Violence ended up bringing hundreds of new riders to the cause to help end segregation, and though many other people tried the Freedom Ride again and again, they ended up getting beaten or jailed, and that happened until Kennedy enforced bigger guidelines and rules to get rid of segregation on interstate travel. After this, Interstate Commerce Commission ended up posting regulations and getting rid of segregation at terminals. The most common questions that you guys have asked and the things you want to know. So here uh, we are getting a lot of questions about like, what was Freedom Ride? Could you tell us more about like the story behind it? What happened? Um, so things like that. So basically, I'm going to tell you that Freedom Summer uh, occurred on June 15 of 1964 and was a voter registration drive for African Americans. Um, you know, they wanted to have a say in the political aspect of the United States. So it consisted of 300 volunteer, volunteers and some staff led by Mississippi Project Director Robert Boss, Robert Bob Moses on June 15. The volunteers, they weren't all black people, you know, there was like a mixed amount of people, you know, it was a mixed group um, of all different races, ethnicities, backgrounds, um, but there was some issues that had sparked with the Freedom Summer um, event, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so there were three men, a local black man named James Cheney and two white men named Michael Schwerner and Andrew Goodman, who, upon the group of volunteers, had gone missing when they were visiting Philadelphia, Mississippi. Uh, they had gone missing after investigating uh, the burning of a church. And after the bodies of the three men had been found, there was tension, a lot of tension that arose between the white and black volunteers of the staff. Um... And some of you guys asked, like, you know, why? Why did this happen? It was mostly because there was, like, they felt like it was biased, you know, against the one black man in, you know, in that group. And then also because the two white men were a part of that, of the, you know, registration drive for African Americans. They were a part of those 300 volunteers, even though they were white. Um... And so questions like where was federal protection and why was the investigation so slow had arose between, you know, everyone uh, amongst the volunteers as well as the state of Mississippi. Um, so it sparked some, some issues between one another. Um, and some, some of you guys have asked, like, you know, has it been solved? Like, is there anything that's been, like, did it change anything in the 60s, uh, 70s, or something like that around, around there, so, and, you know, while 17,000 black Mississippians registered to vote, only 1,200 were successful, so, like, the Freedom Summer did not initially become a success, but some 
have come to believe that like the Freedom Summer aided the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Ra- Rights Act of 65 because of lawmakers and their constituents, they were very heavily educated because of the Freedom Summer events. So I guess you could say it did change how things are in a large way, but it n- initially did not change anything. Um, and that was like, yeah, that was like a really big thing in the United States that happened. And that were, that, that were, I I cannot talk you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, amongst everything I just said, that was all the questions that I have received from you guys today. So yeah, I think I am just about done and I was so glad to talk to you guys today about something so so important so um serious in society even though it happened a long time ago you know there's still things going on today you know that that we should be focused on and I think that Freedom Summer is a very very important event so Yeah, thanks guys for tuning in, and I cannot wait to see you and hear back from you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody!